what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're gonna be talking about scream 7 in this video here today so daniel rpk has put out more reported information on the upcoming scream 7 that we know is supposed to start filming at some point this year and is eyeing a 2025 release we've known about the 2025 release since last year when everything unfolded with melissa barrera and we know nev campbell will be back we know courtney cox is expected to be back patrick dempsey is expected to be back we know that sydney's children will be involved and i've talked about how they are apparently going back to canada again some of this stuff has not yet still been confirmed including this stuff here from daniel so daniel is saying or giving some clarity on more of the story he says while there will be new young leads again we already talked about the new young leads the 20 something year olds that they are in talks with Sydney and Gail are once again the main characters, along with Sid's family. Someone is targeting Sid's family is the basic story here, which is not shocking at all. That's the it seemed to be going in based off of everything that was being reported. They are already in talks with actors for all the lead roles, including Sid's two kids. Now, I have stated that I have heard that one child was already cast. Granted, that doesn't mean that that's true, since Daniel is saying the opposite. But again, it was never confirmed. However, the most important thing I know for a lot of people is the fact that Sydney and Gail are once again the main characters, along with Sydney's family. So what that tells me is that we could be seeing a Scream 4 play out again, more so in the respect of the fact Scream 5 is less of a Sydney Prescott story. It's obviously core four set centric, mostly Sam Carpenter led. And it's relying on bringing in a new gen of characters that are in Woodsboro connected to the legacy that Sydney is a part of while Sydney gets to go off into the sunset and have her peace. Now, now we're going to shift back into the focus of Sydney Prescott carrying this franchise. And that's why it feels like Scream 4, because Scream 4, you had her cousin around with her friends, Jill, Kirby, Olivia, all of which died, Charlie, Robbie. Her boyfriend Trevor, who she couldn't stand for reasons if you've seen Scream 4, you know, Trevor cheated on her. Uh, and she's not the girl you cheat on, if you're not aware. So, with Scream 4, it definitely felt more so like Sydney was just the main character, given how much screen time she had there. While I would argue that Scream 4 was her weakest outing, the amount of screen time she had made it pretty clear that they were still trying to sell to you that this is still Sydney's story being told while it was balanced with the new characters who I would argue weren't really that well developed in Screen 4 outside of Kirby, her cousin, and yeah, that's really it. I hope we don't see the same mistakes in Screen 7 with these newbies. I would hope that they are treated with some level of we're going to pass the torch to you. Granted, here's the other thing. Why pass the torch again? You're already going back to Sydney Prescott. Just come up with a story that can play out over the course of two movies after this one or one more movie. Take the Halloween trilogy approach. That's what I think should be. That's what I think would be the best outcome. I think that doing movies with Sidney Prescott with year gaps in between, like we're back into the original trilogy, that's going to be a hard thing to sell for individuals like me who are trying to look at this with a lens of being realistic still and when you keep on this is an argument many of us have already heard when you keep on having new people coming after sydney prescott and it's years later it starts to chip away at the there's no way all these people are after her type of thing that you're going for because it's not michael myers versus laurie strode it's multiple people putting on one costume going after Sidney Prescott. That's why you have some people going, why are so many people upset at this one lady? It's starting to not be believable. I think a way to reduce this argument very well is to have the stories closely connected in time. Don't have Scream 8, if you get a Scream 8, set three years later, and then have Scream 9 set a few years later too have the story kind of connected very closely the same way the halloween trilogy story is connected hell you could even do seven and eight same week same month and then maybe scream nine is set a year later that is more digestible and a lot more believable you're still going to have the people saying why are so many other people still wanting this woman dead but at least keeping the stories close in their uh in their time frame will eliminate 
the lack the loss of appeal that you might have on your way already by placing the same person in the line of fire instead of just letting them have their peace now as far as gail weathers gail weathers i think is the one that i would be more interested in following in a screen movie now not sydney prescott gail weathers has been very influential in terms of where we've ended up in culture with ghostface in this franchise when it comes to stab the way ghostface is very popular clearly going off of what we've seen in screen four and screen five and screen six gail has a big spot in all of this a movie told from her perspective sounds a lot more appealing to me than a movie told from sydney prescott's perspective once again because of her role how she is always chasing a bag how she has always just been able to dis disassociate herself from how these stories hurt hurt other people all in the name of her making a name for herself making some money becoming more popular than she already is and continuing to just establish her legacy as one of the best to ever do it when it comes to journalism that's what she wants to do so to see a film set in her perspective from her perspective seeing her deal with some of the consequences of her decision making over the years that's way more appealing than sydney prescott once again nev campbell and courtney cox tremendous actresses i'm sure they're going to knock it out of the park it's all coming down to the fact that i think that sydney prescott should be allowed to have her peace and we should be able to move away from her it's no different than with sam carpenter since some people think that i prefer sam carpenter over sydney prescott you're sadly mistaken i prefer sydney prescott over sam carpenter you should also not be doing this crap with sam carpenter sam carpenter should not be brought back over and over and over and over and over again what i'm getting at is we should stop flipping back and forth between a certain section of characters and the screen franchise needs to really kick in new people that can carry on your franchise if you want your franchise to be everlasting the way spyglass has already made it clear they want they want to keep making screen movies well you need to cook up something that is going to be able to let sydney prescott and gail weathers disappear at some point and you're already off on the wrong track when you're backtracking and going back to the characters in full effect like this Scream 7, I hope, is going to be very good. I actually have heard that they have a good script. Again, that's just a rumor I've heard. That doesn't mean the movie is going to be executed well. It could end up being one of the best Scream movies. It could, up in, it could end up being one of the worst Scream movies. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.